Hello and welcome back to another Revit Architecture 2009 CAD clip. Here we're going to show you quickly how you can have a opening uh, constraint to the stair so that we can take a stairway like this and I can use my arrow key and I can nudge that or I can move it and you'll notice that the stair opening will move with that. So that's really just our challenge here. I'm going to start by clicking on my stair and deleting it. I'm going to click on that opening on the second floor and delete that. So we're back to just two floor systems. What I do is I start by going to my level two. I've got a floor there and I'm going to go in into my modeling tab and create an opening. So I'm going to go down here and say opening, uh, vertical opening. Okay click on the second floor plate and then I'm just going to do a great big opening that is something that I know is bigger than what the stairway is going to be so I'm going to make an enlarged opening I can do this in a couple of different ways and then I can um, do a trim I can definitely do this in a couple different ways finish the sketch now I've got a hole in my floor looking down and I'm kind of taking the long way to do this but that's okay so back from my level 2 I can start my stair command I say stairs the first thing I'm going to do because I'm on level 2 is set my stair properties to say from level 1 because it's assuming I'm on level 2 up to level 2 and I can set my other properties. I've set some materials and stuff inside of here, some different heights and stuff. We've seen that before, so we can do that. So all I've set reset is my heights. And I'm just going to do an L-shaped stair with run. And I'm just going to go click like this here. And then pick another point over here like that. Done. Okay. Zero remaining 18 risers created. Okay. So I finish the sketch. So there's my stairway and there it's kind of poking through that great big hole okay back to my level two first I'm going to do so I don't get confused with the railing as you see there's the railing and underneath is the stair stringer I'm gonna click on that railing go down here to my temporary hide and say hide this category so the railing disappears now the railing isn't in my way because sometimes you'll end up aligning your objects to the railing and not to the side of the stair so now I go back to this opening on my level two and say edit that opening and now I can say align to here this guy lock it 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 align to here this guy lock and this guy down here is already done let's go oh no align to here this guy lock it okay there's the old opening the pink lines are the new opening so we say finish the sketch and there we have it go back to my 3d view and there's my stair with my opening shift middle mouse button okay pan over here a little bit now using my nudge key my arrow keys so I can nudge this I can do shift with arrow key which is nudge and now that opening is going to follow the stairway so just a matter of constraining uh, an opening to a stairway <laughs>